The Caribbean island of Dominica is a food lover's paradise. Its tropical climate and rich volcanic soil make for the perfect conditions to grow an abundance of produce, which, when spiced up with a little Creole flair, make for some truly appetising results. But what is the secret to Creole cuisine? Well, I've come here to this Caribbean island to discover more, and who better to find out from than a couple of the very friendly locals? We're here in the beautiful mountainside of Dominica, surrounded by some wonderful scenery, and with me, I have two of the finest chefs in this island, if not the finest chefs, Liz and Daria. Now, what are we going to be cooking today, Liz? We are doing Creole fish this morning. What's in this marinade? We've got thyme, parsley, green onions, green onions, celery, and the seasoned pepper. Seasoned pepper is a cross between the bell and hot pepper. What fish do we have here? We're having a mai mai. We call it dolphin, not flipper. <laughs> it's mai mai. So if you ever come to Dominica and you get served dolphin, it's not really dolphin? No. Blend all of those green seasoning in the blender mm. and add it in a bowl with salt, yeah. lime, or lemon. In the absence of both lime or lemon, you add mustard. Gotcha. And you throw all in the bowl here and allow it to marinate for about an hour. Okay, we're sauteing the heavier items first, the yeah. onions, the bell pepper and the celery stock. Okay. They are broken down first because they are the heaviest. Sure. And they are then we add the lighter ones, the celery, mm. and the tomatoes. What would you say the secret is then to Creole cooking? Well, why should we tell you it's a secret? I mean, <laughs> it shouldn't reveal secrets. However, um, the red the tomatoes, the green onions, mm. the white and the purple, so it <laughs> makes it stand out. And the fish, it adds a little more flavor. Yeah. So the sharp color and the sharp flavor makes it green. Gotcha. I'm now adding oil to the larger skillet. Okay, so we are going to start doing our fish. I'm go. going to base the bottom of the pan with some of the veg <laughs> and now add the fish. Creole cooking in general, is it still very, very popular on the island? Yes, yes, it is. Oh, it yes. is. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I am now basting the complete top of the fish with the remainder of your veg. And now we'll add more flavor, more color. More color. Mm -hmm. With the tomato sauce, mm -hmm. we allow it to simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now, to my untrained eye, this looks like a banana. What are we going to do with it? It's a plantain. A plantain. A banana. What's the difference? The difference is the banana is mushy and the plantain is firm. Just fill it. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah, much further. And generally, you find the plantains much bigger than the yeah. bananas. Yeah. Much bigger. You don't find bananas this big. Okay, then. What are we going to do with them? Bread. We are going to do it in, um, fry it in shredded coconut. Gotcha. You want to try peeling a plantain? Yeah. Oh. Not too deep. Oh. Good. Is that pretty much and it? And then you put your thumb right through there. Like Pull me? it out. Pull like it off. Me? Like yes. me. The butter, you need eggs. Sure. Milk, this is evaporating milk and flour. Lovely stuff. We add our milk. Mm -hmm. One would normally fry the plant and mm -hmm. just slice it and fry yeah. it. It's like making, preparing your Lovely. pancake batter. This is a fancy cutter. We oh, slice see. into yeah. wedges. The next step. You dust your planting Putting in flour. flour and you dip into your butter. Gotcha. Okay. Oh. And now you fold into the shredded coconut. So how are we going to cook these then? Deep fry it. How long do they take to do? Just about um, golden brown. Cool. 
So our meal is ready. We've got the plantains. We have the fish. Uh, what's this rice in? What's in there? How do you make that? Okay, we have rice and beans in mm -hmm. coconut cream, seasoned with just a little thyme and a little salt. Okay, then. Well, I always find that there's one thing that helps your meal, makes it go down really, really well, is the company of two beautiful Oh, ladies. thank you very thank much. You. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. And to you. Let's tuck in. <laughs>